How's it going everybody out there on YouTube? It's Hate here coming at you with my live fire review. Now since I've had a little bit of time to sit down and play through tons of matches of live fire, I feel that I'm at a comfortable enough place to give my thoughts on the new game mode. Fortunate enough for me, I also got some really great games with some of the respawn developers. While I was streaming, I was matched up against a couple of the respawn developers and a couple other streamers, and we had a couple of really, really great games. The thing for me about Live Fire that I like the most is some of the matches when evenly balanced can be extremely tense. It's the kind of feeling I feel that has been missing from Titanfall 2. It's been a while since I've played a game mode where my heart is beating out of my chest. I feel my nerves at their very end. It's something I'm really, really happy to see coming into Titanfall 2. Now some of the things that I was concerned about with my early meta to live fire video have came to fruition, however. I've noticed a couple of things that I was worried about previously going into Titanfall 2 rearing their ugly head in live fire. The amount of spam from both teams is a little bit ridiculous. One thing I really don't like about Live Fire is at the beginning of some matches, you instantly are getting hit with a Pulse Blade. You're not even a second into the match and Pulse Blades are already cross map, pinging your team, letting the enemy know where you guys are at. Now I'm on the opposite, I've got to say I really, really am enjoying Live Fire. It's been a while since I really wanted to just hop on Titanfall and get as many games in as possible. The rounds are short enough to accomplish what you're set out to do. The time in between the matches is very short as well. You have enough time to coordinate with your team what you want to do next. And I feel the overall timing of Live Fire is really dead on. Something I think Respawn nailed on the head with this game mode. Now another complaint that is pretty predominant out there is the exclusion of this from the private match beta. This would have been really something great to add in with the DLC. Seeing as this is a competitive game mode, having the option to run this in private beta and set up some scrims with other teams or your own clanmates would have been an excellent addition to this DLC. I'm actually very surprised that it wasn't released with this DLC. Let's talk about the two maps, starting off with Meadows. Meadows was a map I really did not enjoy starting out my experience in live fire it slowly began to grow on me to the point where i prefer it over the second map here are some of the reasons why i like meadows it is a small map but it also isn't so confined that you cannot run different styles of loadouts you have the option to play from a distance and you have the option there to get up close and personal, something I really like about Live Fire. It's got enough areas to hide, it has some buildings to snipe from, it has some areas to be sneaky, and it has zip lines. One of the things that was missing in Titanfall 2 upon release. I'm really glad to see them make a return here. I think it's really interesting to see how different pilots are using these zip lines to their advantage and also having them used to their disadvantage. I really hope they add more zip lines in the future maps that will be released with Titanfall 2. Now, Stax is the map I really liked at the beginning. I preferred over Meadows. But as I play Stax more, there's a couple of things that I dislike about Stax. For example, on one side, you are completely blocked off and forced to go through this little choke point tunnel, where on the other side, it's completely open to go high or go low. Now, this little choke point can create some very interesting dynamics, but I also feel like it takes away from the fluidity of the gameplay. When you have just a small, teeny, teeny choke point, all of your energy and your fire is focused on that small hole, making it hard to flank from that side in certain situations. Whereas on the other side, you can come out 
on the high, the mid, or the low and flank very easily. Also, there are some very key differences on stacks based upon where you spawn. On one side of the map, in your center spawn, you have a couple of crates there to wall run off of and really push the flag very fast. Where, on the flip side of that, if you get the center spawn, you have very, very small crates that only give you a split second wall run and really don't allow you to push as far as the opposite spawn. Now one might argue that that is why you have halftime and the spawns will be reversed and you'll have the option to use the better side. But when you think about it, if you get that better spawn side with the longer wall run route, you can easily push 3-0 from the very start. Going 3-0 from the very start before switching sides is a huge advantage to your team. Not only do you, are you up three more points, you have the pressure already set on the other team to score five to win. I'm actually very surprised to see that in a map like Stax, it isn't mirrored on both sides. Meaning that if you took one spawn, cut it in half, and flipped it to the other side, they would be identical. Making it a little bit more even of a playing field. I'm not sure why they chose to have the maps kind of asymmetrical. Maybe that's a question for the developers and they have some reason behind this. But it would have been interesting to see a map like Stax be mirrored, making the flank routes even on both positions. Overall, I have to say they did an excellent job. Shout out to Respawn. This is exactly what Titanfall 2 needs in order to have longevity. A lot of people are complaining that it's a mode without Titans. But I feel we're going to be getting those in the future. And this is something that gives the competitive player something to queue up very fast, get some really fun, challenging games in, and really test their grit against other pilots out there. If any of you guys out there haven't had the chance to go ahead and try Live Fire, definitely hop on Titanfall 2, download the DLC, it's very small, about 4 gigabytes, and hop into Live Fire. It'll take a little bit of fine tuning and adjusting to get used to the new playstyle mechanics of Live Fire, but you'll find yourself having a lot of fun. It'll get your heart pumping out of your chest in certain situations, and that's all I can really ask for in a game mode. It's challenging, it's fast paced, and you'll have a lot of fun. Overall, I'm definitely giving Live Fire the thumbs up. I'm gonna be playing it as much as I possibly can before they switch it up to something new. It's nice to see new maps in Titanfall 2. And just a big shout out to Respawn for giving us something different in Titanfall 2. I'm looking forward to everything I'm sure they have in store for us in the future. My hat's off to them because it's all free. What more can you ask for? So in my closing thoughts, the only thing I can suggest that is not already in Lifewire is perhaps disabling some of the pilot abilities and loadout choices for live fire specifically. If we can in some way reduce the amount of spam in live fire, I think it will make for an overall better play experience. So be sure to let me know what you guys think about live fire in the comment section. I'm dying to read what you guys have to say. Remember, if you're enjoying live fire, head over to Twitter and hit up the Respawn developers and let them know what you think can be improved or let them know just how much you're enjoying it. I know I'm going to go ahead over there and leave them a couple of critiques and a big thumbs up for giving us live fire. I'm having a blast playing it and I can't wait to see more from them. As always, I'm Hate. I'm going to catch you in the next one. It's GG. No re. Of a good death until my very last step. The stereo blast past buried gas for breath. The fact that don't care is an invaluable asset. An infallible flow here, not a challenge I haven't met. Forced to find balance in beats and raw talent. Free speech.